It's May 30th, 2017. You got the ICOM 730 on 80 meters. Get out of here. I'm, I'm trying to finish my shop. Work while I can get, to get some more. Let me finish painting it. They're on AM. I'm on a park from my Tundra. Should be here up at 10, 11 o'clock. Got to set the lower side beam. Using lower side band, upper side band, excuse me. Put it to AM mode. I'll put this on one kilohertz here. Seven thirty in the morning, May thirty first. Three six six five, we'll put a lower side band up. So they're probably 3665. I'll put this over AM, this will jump. That's probably where the carrier's set. 3665 megahertz. Notice this is set to AM. 3665. I'll turn this to lower sidebands. Gonna change the display is ICOM seven thirty. Upper side band, lower side band. Now with AM, of course, a lot of the power is going in the carrier in the two side bands, so it's not as efficient, but it's more robust for drift in the sense you can drift around and you don't have to screw around with the knob, but only a portion of the power is actually used uh, in receive, it's not as efficient because you've got the carrier only a portion goes in each side beam. Upper. This is under 100 kilohertz. There's 10 kilohertz. Here it is in upper side beam. I'm going to tune it high. Lower side, go lower than that, you can hear the carrier. So, one kilohertz below, that's roughly about a kilohertz sound right there.
This should be one and a half. It's one, one and a half off, two, two and a half, three. Now, if you do that with a bunch of different guys, see he's he's off. He's on a slightly different, slightly off. It doesn't matter on the EM. He's about 800 hertz low. It doesn't matter, of course, on AM. I found these guys this yeah. morning because I had it in a lower sideband yeah, and I tuned through and then I heard a carrier and I said, oh my gosh, he's either tuning up or it's a... Sitting on comps of 16 there. Or he's uh, uh, on, on AM, so I was kind of surprised. Reflected power and all that. Next time at... Uh, uh, 6.36 AM Central Daylight Time. Like current gets off. We're in the southern Mississippi here. And Now, right, so. He's about 20 dB over. It's uh, okay. Um, that may be changing or something. So anyway, we'll uh, let y'all go. Bob, you go ahead and carry on. I'll listen, but I need to get out of here. I'm gotta get some more coffee, and I'm gotta get a bite to eat. And uh, that's with the 75 so foot antenna outside. That's and, uh, low to the ground. I'm going to listen, but I may not be, I probably won't be back. I need to get out of here, but, uh, so, uh, come on in, Bob, tell us, tell us something. WAC5AM or WA5BLQ? It's WA5KOS. Again, go to the upper side band. Now he's dead nuts on 365. I lined this about a week ago to about within 100 hertz. My radio to his is off less than 100 hertz. I can barely hear a tone. You can't get nothing on broadcast radio. So we had a heck of a weekend. That's on Memorial Day. It hit a Sunday night and we didn't get power till last night about 10, 9.30 or 10. Over two, two days. Anyway, hope my antenna is working That's good That's the B-104. Don't seem like it's loading up as good as it did before. That's the ICOM well, 7:30 in a.m. I guess it was uh, Friday or Saturday. Anyhow, I turned on everything and one of my three 500 and his amp wouldn't light up.